Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet on Wednesday, May 15th. This is after CPI. So CPI was right here and it's now consolidating, right? Okay, so we're going to keep playing this until we get to the Silver Bullet hour. Let's see what's going to happen here. Now, with this big range here, I'm expecting it to come down here somewhere. So like I'll pull the fib from from here to here and see here's optimal trade entry right now am i gonna buy if it comes down here no i just want to see if it's going to react through there it's either going to react in here and, and start retracing back up cool then yeah I'll probably will look for a for um a breaker block or an order block or a inversion for value gap but if it comes down here and just you know it goes through here with speed and um goes past the 79.79, then, you know, I'm going to hold up. I want to see if it's going to, you know, come down here, maybe sweep these lows again and then go higher, or if we're just going to reverse, right? So, I mean, this was a big, a big push up, and so it's going to have to do some retracement if it's going to go higher. Um, I do like that it uh, did just sweep out the, so you're in this range here, but it did just sweep this high here. So ideally, if it's going to go higher, I'd like it to come down here. So maybe take out this low, come down. Optimal trade entry, I would love it to see it. And then I would like to see it go higher. That would be ideal for me. But like I said, we're, we're seeing what's going to happen down here. Okay, so that's how you need to trade this. That's a good sign, good sign. Let's see if we get a reaction, like a reaction reaction. That's good. I like that right there it's right there let's see what next few candles are going to do it can come down further or if that's as low as it wants to go it's stalling here which i like okay all right so if we look at es let's i wonder if i can pull es on here too uh, let's do this new pain okay let's do this Okay, so is there SMT with with ES? This this high is that low is higher than this low, and it's obviously higher than this low. Okay, sweet. That one didn't work. Let's go with YM. Okay. Well, this is the low we got so far. That's here. Is this low? lower than or higher than that low no so it goes up here and goes down here so we have smt with ym this is the dow okay we got optimal trade entry now i would really like to see you know displacement i would like to see something break through like here would be a breaker block here market structure this would be uh, if it's a fair value gap right now so if it's going to respect that and down we could very well do that if I, otherwise, I want to see it break that. If it breaks that, you know, then there's displacement. Then I take a long here and probably target this high here. Okay, let's just see how this. Let's see, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, I definitely like that. Oh, that's too much. I definitely like that displacement here. Let's see if it ooh, just touches it. I'd like to see it actually come into this a little bit. But this right here now is an inversion. So let's make that as an inversion for value gap. That's what it is now. Inversion. So Ideally, I want to go into it. If this barely tapped it, you wouldn't have been filled. So I want to, I want to see it come in. There's two fair value gaps right here. So it's several things right here. There's also a breaker block right here. So I want to see. Stop. No. Oh, all right. Well, I actually think I have to buy there because I don't think it's going to go in there. That would have tagged me in. This would tag me in down here. So we'll put it right there. And we're going to target these highs here. So let's just move this down here like this. Let's move that to there. Let's move this to here. Okay. There's your trade setup. 
And let's see. Like in that. Okay. Now, there's a breaker block there. Now, why am I not using this entire thing? Because it's huge. I'm just going to use the little body here. Obviously, I want to see how the top is what I'm looking at. I have to see if it's going to support price to go higher. So that's all I'm looking at right now. I'm just trying to gauge price, see if it's going to, you know, continue on with my directional bias. Let's see if it's going to hold price, support price. I like it. I like that. So far, I'm liking that. I'm just going to test it again. Ooh. Well, candle body. This just didn't close below it. And below half, so let's see. Ooh. Nice little test. Okay. Okay, well, there's another breaker block. Is that going to support price? Yes, you can use this as an order block. I like breakers, so I'm just using what I what I like. It's going to support price. Continue going higher. Again, I'll move this over. We're aiming for this high here. What's our target? I'm fully aware that there's another breaker that's a little higher, but, you know, I don't want to have all these on here too much, so we're just letting it be. Let me test that breaker. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Let's see how the rest of the hour plays out here. I'll just keep going up, going higher, drag up, down, up, and keep going. Okay. All right. So one thing you can do, if you don't want to have solid targets like this, one thing you can always do is you can pull the retrace, uh, your manipulation leg. So here would be the manipulation leg. It'd be a swing high that took out the low that made the form the low. So there you go. So two and a half standard deviations. Let's see where that's at. That's at. Way up here. All right. Let's take off this other fib for now. Two and a half right there. Okay. So I'm just going to hit play just to show you how the rest of the day played out on this. Just, just a slow trickle up. Would you want to sit through this? Here's one o'clock. I mean, that's a nice little, that's a nice angle right there. I mean, from your entry, you know, there's your, there's your projection, right? See where four standard deviations is. Just gonna hit play and just let it play out. Here's two o'clock. Here's three o'clock right here. Consolidating. We close the day here. Big consolidation. Asia starts and Asia ends up going to four. Right here. All right. You could have held this probably up till here because when you're consolidating for the for this long, everyone would have got out. I would have got out at the end of the day. Like here's so here would have got out, but you could have at least held it for longer than we did. I mean, we got. I know this is hard to see. It's just a little very small, but I'm trying to show you. We got 55, and we we're aiming for this high right here, right? Had you aimed for just two and a half standard deviations, left a runner. Let's just say you left a runner. You got most of your off here. 55 handles is still, you know, eleven hundred dollars. Uh, that's a really good day. So let's just say you left a runner. You could have gotten, if you went to two and a half, well, two and a half is, wow, well, you would have got 150. Yeah, 150, right? Come on, no, whatever, right there, 150. 
So, you know, 95 more points <laughs> you could have had, could have gotten if you left the runner. But that's, I mean, look at that, just kind of a straight, you know, slow and steady. No, I'm not drawing the sucker's line. Um, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, if you pull the fib, sometimes it's nice to leave a runner if you can. Uh, I don't like leaving runners on NQ uh, because I just, I don't. If I'm trading MNQ, I will. I will leave a run, runner on M and Q, uh, but I will not on N Q just because I'm not risking that like that. With if I'm not watching the chart, M and Q, M and Q, uh, I will uh, leave a runner and just you know as long as I'm in profit, I'll leave a runner and check it and then move it up and trail it and things like that. But anyway, here is your post CPI AM silver bullet. So we had SMT. We had optimal trade entry. Price came up, created an inversion fair value gap. We entered. We just targeted the high here, 55 points. You know, it's a good day. We saw that our breaker blocks were supporting price, and we got out at 55. Like I said, you could have pulled the fib and aimed for a higher target or left a runner. Ideally, if you're going to watch the watch it all day or watch it for the hour and a half, you could have just kept trailing your stopped. It's easy to look at it in hindsight and say, I would have stayed for it, but, you know, most people don't. When they have this from, from here, this uh, hour-long consolidation over lunch, most people are trying to get out down here. So you still could have gotten, you know, 100, 100 points. You could have almost doubled what we had if you just waited for the extra, you know, 45 minutes, half hour. So anyway, that's your AM silver bullet for Wednesday, May 15th.